Hey, beautiful Aquarius, how you doing? My name is Miss Shelley. Let's get right into an energy reading for you, Aquarius. Um, so I did do a reading for you uh, last night, <clears throat> and I tried to upload it, but for some reason, the editor uh, wouldn't allow me to... There was some some problems happening with the app, so I couldn't do it. So I'm starting a whole new video. I'm not going to edit this one. I'm going to try to just, you know, do it straight through <laughs> without editing, okay? So hopefully that'll help. I don't know what's going on. But anyway, the overall energy that you got out for the week in the live reading was moderation. And it has this number 14 here which talks about the number five, and it talks about change. Then you have this beautiful card here, master number 33, with the solar plexus chakra energy, and it says communication. The thing is, this card came out invert. Um, so invertedly, this card is saying a heck of a lot, right? It's talking about not having confidence or courage, to communicate one's needs or desires or they're not able to put into words um, how they feel in a confident or courageous manner. Um, it's like the masculine energy is a bit distorted as well. It's like somebody who is communicating but they're not being mature about it. They're not being honest about it. Things like that. Okay, and with the master number 33 there, it's like, you know, the master teacher is like student teacher energy. So there's some lessons that are going on within that. Um, so that was the card that was at the bottom of the deck. So it's kind of making me feel um, that this may have been something you have recently dealt with or maybe you've dealt with this in the recent past or um something like that i'm not sure but it was at the bottom of the deck and it wanted to show itself inverted now the other energy though that was on top talks about that change right and it talks about um groundedness with all of this green especially with the root chakra energy here grounded 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 practical 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 patience right um and doing things differently so I feel like you're changing the way you do things. You're looking at things from a, um, a more practical view, um, a practical plan, um, or at least that's what you're being asked to do, okay? Take things in moderation. Now, I'm also hearing time out, step back, retreat, vacation. I'm hearing those kind of words. So you could be going on vacation. You could be taking a step back or you need to, you know, you may be being asked, you know, take a step back because we're, when we're in the fold of things, we don't see it the same way as when we take a step back. That's why it's like, oh, in hindsight, 2020, I can see it this way because I'm not in the fold, right? Um, something like that. Or you could be going on vacation. Or you may be taking a time out from something or someone or somebody. You know what I mean? From a situation. All right. Let's see. Spirit, angels, and ancestors. Let's see. How's Aquarius looking? Right now. Aquarius Nation. I love you guys to life. Um, personal readings are available, Aquarius. If you're interested, find the information below. Okay, I thought I saw a card up. Yeah, I did. All right. Um, you can also check out the uh, link for the membership for this channel. But let's get right into it for Aquarius. How's Aquarius looking at this time?
I'm going to turn this card over. My guides are saying turn it upright. <coughs> We're going to remember that it's reversed, but I'm turning it upright so I can communicate well. Because <laughs> last night in the live, it was all over the place a little bit. And I feel like it was because of the energy um, of the card on the board. I'm not sure. But my guys are telling me to turn it upright. So that's what we're going to do for now. Let's see. All right, Spirit, clear message. There we go. Okay, turn them on. Do you feel like something is a burden? You may be doing a lot of volunteer work, Aquarius. You may be um, volunteering. You may be um, being very charitable. You could be dealing with a fire sign, a... Sagittarius, particularly. You may feel like you're dealing with something or someone or somebodies that they do things the hard way for no reason. You may feel like someone does takes uh how you say this is like a person who i'm getting this is somebody else i don't know why this is somebody else the ten of wands and so how you're looking at this person is it could be somebody who does extra stuff to get attention it's to get attention though it's like um, an attention-seeking person. A person who likes attention. They're very social. It's like, let me get that door. Let me pick up those bags. Let me, let me, let me, let me. You know what I mean? So that they can get some kind of attention. Then they smile. They look good. This is a person who is in well shape. Good shape. And they don't have to be a, a person who stays in the gym. They could be. Um, they could work out a lot, definitely. But this could be somebody who just really, they look good. They they have good genes. They look good, okay? But they do certain things. It's like they do the most. Like, you don't have to do all of that. <laughs> okay. All right, let's see another card here. Now, this could definitely be you. You could have fire in your chart and you're doing something. You're doing something the long um, way around. It's like something is a burden. Let's see what else is here. So we have the sun. And bottom of the deck, we have the seven of swords. This is some um, weird energy. The sun is coming out inverted. <clears throat> you may be doing the retreat thing, Aquarius. You may be um, escaping something, moving away from something, um, that, or someone, or you're, you're thinking, you're plotting and planning. Somebody may begin to see a different side of Aquarius is what I'm getting. I'm getting what lies beneath. Someone is beginning to, someone's going to see a different side of Aquarius Someone was seeing the side of Aquarius that if this is you, roles could be reversed for flop transpose. Um, take it as it resonates. <laughs> but yeah. I don't know what um someone did or said or it doesn't even have to be um, romantic it could be anybody any situation um, 
all of these other cards here. The Six of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, the Knight of Cups. Um, sorry about that, Aquarius. All right, so like I said, we have the Knight of Cups, the Queen of Swords, the Ace of, I mean, the Six of Pentacles. What I'm seeing here on the board is that somebody drew you in with their charm, okay? It's like Knight and Shining Armor Energy with the uh, Six, with the Ten of Wands. Like I said, this person is very attractive, male or female, doesn't matter. It could even be a position is very attractive. Um, a collaboration is very attractive. There's an offer here that's very attractive. Take it as it resonates. It doesn't have to be, you know, romantic, okay? This could definitely be about business. Um, and there's this energy where this offer drew you in. But over time, it looks like it's become some sort of burden, Okay. Like something is more, people are making you do more work than, let's say it's work, making you do more than what's necessary, making you take the scenic route with certain things. Or this is a person. This is a person who uh, drew someone in. Okay. And <clears throat> eventually though it's becoming a burden because it feels like they do shit to get attention um, and it's cute until it is not <laughs> it's what I feel it's like oh let me do this for you but the same thing they're doing for you is like they're doing for everybody else like and it, it's not cute they're very very social I don't know we'll, we'll clarify because maybe it's it's not the way it seems. Maybe they're just a social person. Okay? But with the sun coming out inverted, the next card right next to it, someone's not very pleased about this. It's not so cutesy. It's not. Um, and it literally says on this card, um, a 19 breaking down to um, a 10... And the 10 does talk about cycles, right? Um, it says, give yourself permission to experience joy. But it's in the reverse. What's crowning this is the Queen of Swords, your energy as the Swords. Um, and it says, don't you dare lower your voice for anyone. So I feel like you're about to communicate something. Or vice versa, someone's about to communicate something with you, to you, okay? Because um, again, roles could be reversed, but flop transposed. But yeah, someone is ready to speak about the facts. Someone is ready to um, talk about their bullet points, okay? <laughs> their particular, uh, you know ideology of the picture at hand. Whatever is going on, someone's ready to talk about it. And they have facts, they have figures, they have dates, they have um, the information that they need. And they want to talk about, you know, they would prefer to compromise. Like, hey, this doesn't make me very happy, you know, but, you know, can we do it like this? Why do I have to carry all of these things up the stairs? Can you help me? Like, it's something. You know what I mean? It's like, okay, let's compromise so that I, I can be happy and you can be happy. Is what I see here. Or at least that's what the higher self is asking someone to do. You or someone else. But then we have the Seven of Swords. And you can see the Seven of Swords wants to demolish this spider... Um, and the spider could represent, for me as a reader, like um, 
almost like Scorpio energy, kind of, sort of. It's like, um, what a tangled web we weave, right? Which is real Seven of Swords-ish. But also, um, you know, seeing something a little bit closer, seeing something a little bit more in depth. Seeing something, seeing what lies beneath it all is what I want to keep saying. Something that lies beneath it all. What are the triggers here? What is, somebody seeing the truth. And I feel like it's Aquarius. Because Spirit Guide Source is trying to give Seven of Swords. Spirit Guide Source is trying to enlighten about what someone's been getting away with or where the um the cracks in this foundation lie um spirit god source wants to give a resolution to it all but i feel somebody's seeing the other side of aquarius like we can really show up like this too People pleasing, doing way too much for way too many people because we love you, we care about you, and we are loyal, and we will do, we will go to the ends of the earth. We will just, we'll just be there until shit is not, you know what I'm saying? Until it starts rubbing us the wrong way. Whatever this is, something is rubbing someone the wrong way, and they're, they're, they want to talk about it, and they're ready to talk about it. They're ready to compromise, but it looks like over here with the Seven of Swords and the Six of Pentacles, um, the Seven of Swords is moving into the Six of Pentacles. It looks like somebody's finding something out. Okay, now they could be finding out a text message, finding something that was... Uh, because, you know, Six of Pentacles can talk about definitely balance in a relationship, um, equal reciprocity, but it can also talk about breadcrumbing. So let's get some of these and figure it out. I feel like there's going to be a conversation that takes place, definitely. Now, for some reason... I'm getting that uh, there were some red flags with the sun being reversed. I don't know what this is about. Clear message here, please. Maybe we've been being patient and slowly but surely. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> so we have some kind of disharmony that's taking place here with the Ten of Cups inverted. Something that was cutesy, like I said, something that was cutesy, something was... Um, real cute and somebody may have drawn someone else in it's not cute anymore something isn't aligning is what I feel something is a bit of a struggle here also with the ten of wands it's like it's a burden Okay, someone is tired of doing the most for, I feel like something, something is changing. There it is, the Six of Cups. You definitely, I do want to bring this down a little bit so you guys can see the cards. <clears throat> Okay, yeah. The Ten of Cups, Six of Cups inverted, okay? There's a Four of Cups lingering. 
felt like somebody had a couple of different um um a couple of different times to see that this is real love here um they were offered a couple of different times to see with the ten, uh with the sun reverse but this is like real love here i feel okay i feel like um were you dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or is that just the energy this week? Because we do have the new moon um, coming up. We're in Scorpio season. So, yeah. Six of Cups of Scorpio. We're in Scorpio season. We have the new moon coming up, and it's a lot of water. Okay? Um, and so we may be, you know, there could be some digging going on. This could be talking about the past. You could have been dealing with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, or at least a Pisces Scorpio Libra, yeah, Cancer, a Leo Sagittarius, a Taurus, or another Aquarius, okay? But yeah, I see this energy here where somebody kind of misses you, Aquarius, is what I feel. It ain't funny no more, huh? Um, I also see there's an energy here that somebody may have, you know, created some kind of disharmony in your relationship. It became a burden, is what I see. And somebody is like, you know what? <laughs> yeah, this is about past crimes. Okay, so somebody wants to have a conversation, Aquarius, about the past. They're thinking about you. Somebody, somebody has uh, fantasies about the past here. That's also what I'm getting. Somebody may be planning on, I don't know what they're planning, but they're, they have a plan that they're putting together here. Somebody wants to talk about um, what happened in the past. Somebody has been keeping this to themselves and they want to talk about it, but they feel like you got away. That's what they're, they're feeling here. Yeah, oh, wow. Ten of Wands reversed? Oh, boy. Now, Ten of Wands, um, I mean, Ten of Wands. There's the Ten of Wands here, but there's also the Four of Wands reversed. The Ten of Wands minus the Four of Wands is Six Wands, right? So you could have definitely been dealing with a, a Fire Sign, an Aries, a Sagittarius. And it was all good in the first place, but I feel like this was... Um, I feel like somebody had a third party situation or I feel that someone gave up okay someone this began to be a, a breakdown in communication for some reason it but like I said it seemed like everything was good at first yeah but there it is dust car something ended so some of you, something is going to end or something is going to change. <clears throat> if this is the energy that we've been dealing with, the Ten of Cups of Reverse, the Four of Wands Reverse, now this could also talk about, like I said, take it as it resonates, this could talk about literally the past. Something didn't work out in the past, even though, you know, we tried. And now someone is having memories. Thoughts are coming back up. Memories are coming back up. And they want to um, have a conversation. Because, you know, the dust card talks about endings and beginnings. Somebody wants to transmute something. And then we have the Knight of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, this is somebody you've been going round and round with, or <clears throat> Ooh, 
doggy, the devil. They cannot get you off of their mind, Aquarius. This is them. They feel like you got away. Seven of Swords. They're sitting here thinking about you. You're the Seven of Swords, but they're thinking about how it went down. Okay? They're thinking about coming clean. They're re they're thinking about re re uh how can they it's like a reproach. How can they come back? You know what I'm saying? How can they come back after the deception, after the lies, after the, you know, the self-deceit? Because they weren't fooling you. I, they may have fooled you one time, but they feel like you fooled them because you showed them a different side of you, is what I'm saying. That's what I got in the very beginning. Somebody saw it, sees, sees a different side of Aquarius, and they want the sweet side back, but will they get it? I don't think so. I don't. Yeah, there's a cycle that's closing out here. I don't think that they're getting the old Aquarius back because I'm looking at this energy. This is your power, the Ace of Swords. And this is you taking your power back with the Queen of Wands. They they find you to be very beautiful. There's something that's different, unique, and powerful about you. Whatever your uniqueness is, whatever that beautiful uh, essence is that you have, Aquarius, some of you, you look really good in red. Red it may be your favorite color. Some of you, you like yellow. Yellow is your favorite color. Um, there's an energy here that you're, when you when you first met this person, you were full of self-confidence. It's like you were stepping, okay? Male or female. You have all of this self-confidence. You were bubbly. You were full. You were this, like that girl, that guy. That person who speaks their truth, unique, spunky, uh, sparkling, sparkling, but you didn't just, you know, run your mouth to run your mouth. When you said something, it's kind of deep. When you said something, it kind of penetrated. When you said something, it was like kind of precise, precision, your perspective, your ideas, like, like that. That's how they see you. And now you, you, you're back to yourself is what I feel. I feel like other people are talking to you as well, Aquarius. I feel like you have options. I feel like something is coming full circle, okay? And I feel like you have graduated. You're moving on. You're moving up. Yeah, you're feeling whole. But I do feel that somebody is traveling towards you. I don't know if you know this, okay? Now, this person may have gotten out of a relationship, with the nine of pentacles here or they may be hoping that you're still single is also what i feel here yeah with the ten of pentacles reversed somebody may have gotten out of a relationship <clears throat> let's see somebody's gonna be in their feelings though look with the seven of swords yeah They don't like the way that um it ended, though. It's like, they didn't expect this side of you, Aquarius. Like, that's what I keep getting, okay? Mm -mm, they didn't, they like, well, what happened to that nice Aquarius that I met? The one who was doing all of this. Okay, let's just get these cards out here and see what's going on. What are they thinking about Aquarius? Let's, let's bring this together. So we're going to bring these out. We're going to bring out a self-care, self-love card regarding you, Aquarius, and we're going to bring out an, an advice card. But let's just see what is the hidden truth or what lies beneath. Didn't I tell you they think about you in that way? I have sexual fantasies about you. Is this the end? Like, really, Aquarius? Seriously? Are we really over? And I hide behind material things. Wow. So this person may have chose the material over love. They may have chose the beautiful home, car, um, because of, I don't know, family, because of culture, because of, I don't know why, but um, this was in the reverse. Is this the end? <laughs> okay, just to remind you. <clears throat> All right. Well, that 
that's their feelings, okay? Um, and then bottom of the deck, just being near you is intoxicating. Intoxic, <laughs> okay, Katie? <laughs> Oh, gosh. Oh, boy. Somebody can't get enough of you, Aquarius. I'll give you the red light special all through the night. Oh, baby, it's yours. I'm yours. TLC. All right. Somebody, um, this might be a 90s baby or just someone who likes TLC, but yeah, TLC, tender, love, and care, okay, um, a lot of ups and downs, round and rounds, all right, let's see, Aquarius, <laughs> for the Aquarius, I'm resonating with spirit, angels, and ancestors, what is the self-care message, specifically for Aquarius, all right, ease, there it is, moderation, Okay, let's see what else. One more card. Yeah, somebody feels like you did this out of rebellion. I just saw the rebel. Okay, but they don't realize there's so many different parts. There's so many different parts of Aquarius, right? That's what they didn't realize. A lot of people don't, you know, realize that. It's like, People don't realize that, um, try to stay drama free, but once we sit up, you should sit back because it's, yeah, there's a whole bunch of different sides though. It's not just black or white. It's, <laughs> it's complicated. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling. All right. Let's see. Aquarius, one more card. Here we go. All right. Um, so the first card we have is ease, the second card is success, and the last card is mind. Okay. It says, today I allow life to be easy. So yeah, something was real easy about this connection is what I feel. But Spirit is saying, this is your advice. Be easy, be patient, give yourself, you know, um, grace. Not only that, give yourself the happy, happy, okay? Give yourself the happy, happy. Woo, don't success. It says, today is a really good day. You're in flow, problems are solved quickly and easily, helpful people show up for you, and unexpected gifts fall into your lap. So, the spirit is saying, don't focus on what was. Focus on what is, okay? Because these could be your emotions showing up, you know? I mean, we're almost at the end of the year, we have the Scorpio new moon. We have different to, um, things on our to-do list. And sometimes we could be really hard on ourselves, depending on age, depending on what has happened in our lives, depending on how we look at it, right? Um, what our pers perspective is. But Spirit is saying, <laughs> don't think about what was. Be in the present moment of what is. Okay, and be thankful for all that you have. You're very, you have some supportive people around you, regardless to the endings, regardless to, you know, the lessons that we have learned. They were, they were lessons, and they are lessons. Okay, so spirit literally is giving, giving us some resolutions, um, simple solutions, uh, helpful people, success. With this mind energy, it says you are the master of your inner world, Aquarius, and you decide how the outer world affects you. Cultivate calm. Cultivate a calm and inner space. State. Cultivate a calm inner state. Okay. That's your... Um, self-care, self-love advice. Now let's get a message regarding relationships, love, romantic, non-romantic. Be careful who you um, intertwine energies with, okay? 
Because somebody's trying to, somebody is trying to get you to be theirs or get you back to being theirs. All right. Um, but you control, you are the master of your own world. The inner, the mind is over the mind card, right? It's all about the mind. It's mind over matter. Okay. Um, something may be very tempting, Aquarius. But I feel like you're past this. And I also feel like for some of you, you missed a bullet because your intuition told you something is coming up. Something wasn't right. Something wasn't with the Queen of Swords. You already know. It's like you already have the facts and figures. You already see it. Okay. So, yeah. Look for a sign, Spirit is saying. Look for a sign. Be assertive. Communicate. Mm -hmm. If you're going to communicate, be open, honest, and straight up. All right? <clears throat> and the last card we have here. Because somebody is going to want to communicate with you. Somebody's coming back. It's what, it's, it's what it's looking like. Okay? For some of you, you can feel this. Now, for others of you, this is the, um, you know, the devil you know. This the person. is you or someone that you are with that you're having conversations with to make things you know, to get on the same page, to get to where you guys really want to be. And it's like, you know, are we doing this or not? Am I going to be at this job, at this in this relationship? Am I going to do this or that or not? Okay. Ask others for help. Ask help from others. Well, there's help here, like the card said. Also, get more information. Yeah, something is not as clear as it should be. Until next time, take care and be well. Namaste.